hello hello everyone hope you're doing great so i'm back again with another video here yeah, and i just want to talk about you know max verstappen over the weekend and the las vegas grand prix and you know the disrespect he showed to formula one and also the hypocrisy he showed you know so okay las vegas is a a, a new race now yeah first time in 40 years you know they're trying to make something for the city and you know generate some money Okay, they put a Formula One race there. They get they get to the race now, so they have an opening ceremony. They put all this time into it. You know, they they, they put at least over one point two billion in that race. You know, and then they get there now, and then the opening ceremony. They have an opening ceremony where they call out all the drivers, and then they call out the drivers. They introduce themselves. So after the opening ceremony. They asked Max, what do you think of the show? He said, oh, it's 99% show, 1% sporting event. And he's like, um, I'm not too excited about it, you know. Uh, yeah, I just look like a clown, not too interesting, you know. Like, come on, at least be a bit more positive, you know. You're just being a bit too negative. You know, to promote the show, for you to make more money, for them to pay you more money, the show has to grow, isn't it? The fans has to, you know, invest in the sport. So... That's really, really hypocritical, you know. The sport that's got you somewhere. You wanna, you wanna diss the sport and be uh, disrespectful and all of them things there. And I really thought that was unfair on the organizers who put the time into it, the people that constructed the circuit. And you know, he needs to apologize. You know, you need to apologize to all them people. And it sounded like he was a bit nervous because he's in Vegas, he's in America. I don't know if he's thinking, oh, something can happen to him, or you know, them kind of things there. I don't want to promote them kind of. That kind of vibes, but what I'm saying is, you know, I see if he was a bit nervous, you know, going to Vegas, blah, 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 you know. So now, now, okay, now the the director of the Las Vegas Grand Prix come out and says, looks, Max has been a li little chirpy about the race. Maybe he's just nervous, you know, and that's what I thought as well. He's just nervous, you know, <laughs> he's just nervous to... um He's just nervous about the race, you know. He's just nervous to be in America. I don't know why. He's won the last five races in America. He's won in uh, Texas, in Cota, Circuit of the Americas. And he's won the Miami Grand Prix, you know. So, at the Hard Rock Stadium. So, I'm I'm there laughing at Max. I'm just laughing at you like, dude, you moving scared, bro. You moving like a coward, man. <laughs> you know, but yeah, Max, you need to apologize to Formula 1, yeah. And let's stop being a hypocrite, yeah. Because without Formula 1, you ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? They stole the championship for you and they bigged you up, innit? So don't try to act like, you know, you're the top of the charts and you've never been seen. You know, we've never seen top drivers before. And then the race goes on. And then after you win the race, you're talking about, oh, it was a it was good Grand Prix, blah, blah, blah. I'm excited to come back next year. So he wasn't excited, you know, to, to, to put the work in to make the show go on. He just wanted to, to drive and win. I understand that you're a driver, but come on. This hypocrisy is a bit too much, man, you know. And, you know, real real people need to call you out, you know, and tell you about yourself. Because it sounds like your team, Red Bull, they don't tell you nothing. They just let you, you know, talk all kind of shit to them. They don't say nothing to you. So, yeah, man, real real people have to call you out. So, I'm calling you out for your hypocrisy and your fakeness. And, yeah, you need to apologize to uh, Formula One and the Las Vegas Grand Prix for, you know, you being mouthy and you being disrespectful and not having enough, enough respect for the organizers of the race, you know. And yeah, I'm just going to leave it here, you know. The hypocrisy of Max Verstappen, you know, it just, it stinks, isn't it? So yeah, Max, you know, you need to fix up and, you know, step up to the plate. Respect, don't know.